Sports. After tonight, there'll be only one weekend to go of men's lacrosse in the Big Ten. Hopkins looking to move one step closer to the number one seed for the Big Ten men's tournament. Ohio State looking to get their second victory of conference play. They beat Rutgers a couple weeks ago. Yeah, you see, anytime they get Blake Island on offense, they're going to attack the Hopkins. If they're able to trap an offensive midfielder on, they're going to attack him with Blake Island. Heavily contested ground ball. That was Brett Martin pick it up. He gets dumped to the turf. It's a two-on-one opportunity for the Buckeyes. The shot goes over the cage. Chase Erland is the closest when and where it goes out. He would had the assignment of TJ Malone last week against Penn State. So these kids have grown up in a hurry. Yeah, it's always a little harder to impress me on the defensive end. I can understand that. But he he is he's something special. Feet inside and a push and a goal. Will it count? It will. Ed Sheen. A great individual effort from Sheen and great trust from Ari Allen to throw it into him. He's covered. He gets hit in the back. Somehow gets the shot off. But Ari Allen playing with his head up. Hits Sheen in the stick. And I mean, I thought there could have been a push with possession there. And they feel like they're due. Talking to Coach Myers, he said they're they're ready. They're 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 chomping at the bit. Shot and a goal. Off of the restart, nothing fancy. It's Thomas Greenblatt. It looks so easy. This is a shot he's worked on time and time again. You see him just hit the gas. You're running upfield, have the awareness to know where that goal is. That's that's you've been shooting that shot a thousand times. You've been working after practice since arriving back on campus, graduate of the Blue Jays. But his defense, they're aggressive, they speed you up, and their sticks are so active. They're letting them play. McKenna with a little bit of an off-speed shot, a knuckleball. That was good defense from Scott Smith. This is similar to what we saw with the Green Lab goal, just the other side. You're going to see him put his head down, get upfield. A little bit of a knuckleball, as you said. Talk about using your head. Scott Smith, or I'm sorry, Patrick Deans. Ooh. Casey McDermott getting a shift on the offensive midfield. McDermott, head of steam, sweeps right, gets stepped, shoots just wide. And he took a late hit. They call it, they, so they call it unnecessary. They didn't call head and neck. The matchup looks to be 38 and gray. This is Langermeyer. Angelus gets it, gets a step, shoots, and scores. Nobody slides, and he's got a hands-free shot. Just a simple split dodge here, right to left. Nobody comes. You know, he stays seven yards on fire. And great placement. You, you call it the high bouncer. We got the matchup again here. Let's see if Ohio State chooses to slide this time. Quicker than a hiccup. They don't. Turns the corner. Top shelf. 2 3. Jacob Angelis. As the short stick matchup, they get the switch. And here's where he looks so calm, so patient. His head is up. And Ohio State does not slide for the second time. And they pay the price for the second time. How about that footwork? Look at that. It's like a young Greg Bice on the uh, agility ag agility ladder. Man, I'll tell you what, guys that just that that have that quickness and it's timing. Kilrain, that lefty, my uh, my college teammate Brian Pacola compares Kilrain to Brian Volker. Okay. And Rob Door. Not bad company, huh? Two two All Americans for the Blue Jays. How about Erlen with the save and then the rebound? Gannon Matthews with the quick stick and Chase Erlen with two consecutive. Highlight real saves. Sunday night, big game. Blake Island with the shot. The original save, Gannon Matthews. No thank you, says Chase Erland. You, you, you get it through you know, the, the marble going through the pipes, and then everything else just kind of falls into place. Blake Island splits a defense and sticks it past Chase Erland. And he does a great job. He's played a lot of box. You're going to see him get under here. Just a little face dodge, and you're going to see Kilrain try and hit. Blake Island, and Blake Island is a truck. How about that shot placement? That was a thing of beauty, and you'll see number six, Quentin Kilrain. Excuse me, that is Brandon Avilas, Syracuse transfer for Johns Hopkins. 25 seconds to shoot for the Buckeyes. 
McKenna, six foot six, using his to get a step, sees over the defense and delivers. 15 second dodge here, he carries all the way across, you know, squares up, rolls back, doesn't like what he sees, once and then lets it go. It's getting to that spot. A lot of we patience were, there. Yeah. If we were playing at the shoe, that would have been between the hash marks. That's right. If you're Ohio State, you have to be aware that Hopkins sticks will be in the passing lanes at all times. Feed, step down, shot, goal. Gannon Matthews with a BB. Was able to beat Erlen. See Greenblatt here as high as you see 24 at the top of your screen just get to a good spot. The last few days and we addressed you know Mitchell Polk and I last night on on our broadcast of Rutgers Maryland I mean you know this is a great year for Big Ten goalies great defense being played by Johnny Cool who takes it away steals the lunch money flicks it with the backhand broken stick from Broden Zula uneven situation Marigny hits the post starts with the ride Johnny Cool with the takeaway, you're going to see this ground ball he actually has in the back of his stick. Flips it out. Hopkins is caught. Defender breaks his stick, has to get off, and there's where you see Marinier's range. And you could see Ohio State gain that advantage when number 44 in blue, Bowden Zulik, broke his stick. And then since then, it's been all Buckeyes. Yeah, this is the first possession they've had. Yeah, in a in, long time. In a long time. Garrett Degnan operating, and he gets hung up. Shot by Degnan. He picks up the ground ball. How did he not only score it, but score it with authority? <laughs> but Garrett Degnan, the big man out of Harwood, Maryland. Boy, what an impressive play. Yeah, just great, great awareness to find that ball at, uh, after he loses it. Under 20. Angelus on Connor Camille. And the short step matchup. This is where they've had a lot of success. Great handle by Chavette. The shot to score. What a shoelace catch. The goals. They choose to finally send the slide to him early. And he's able to use that quarterbacking ability and that vision to set up Chavette. And great handle from Chavette. And the finish. Hunter Chavette. He had six goals in his first two games as a Blue Jay. Quick time, opportunity, great handle, shot, oh. save early. Another rebound, shot goes wide. And time expires. I think, you know, we talked to both these coaches about everybody knows who they are. They, you know, they know, there's no surprises. And I was gonna say, an opportunity for you to mix in some wrinkles, man up. Jacob Angelus, a little touch pass to Garrett Degnan. Two best players for Hopkins. Look at the way he just eyes up, controlling the defense, and that pass had to be perfect with Ohio State defenders draped all over Degnan. Great cut, great look. Yeah, both these defenses, they're, they're just on your hands so quick. Step shot, and a goal. What a rocket. Gannon Matthews falling down the high heat. Fire the first half of the season. He slowed down a little bit. But he's stepping up again here tonight, and super important for the Buckeye offense. They need him to get going if they're going to make a run in this Big Ten tournament. How about that shot placement? But not scared to throw his body around. Less than 10 seconds to shoot. Dagnon, shot, nice save. Wasn't on frame, but Fayok. Yeah, and so when you look at the kids from Ohio, the kids that are playing in those tournaments, they're playing against all these kids, right. these top-ranked kids from... New York and in Baltimore and so they have a lot more experience shot and a goal Marinier one on one Degnan Fiox stands tall gets the ball here you're going to see Mayer with the feed and the shot went low a couple times that Marinier got stopped and decides to go upstairs 9-5 Buckeyes Hopkins back in that circle offense. On the last sequence, it was Angelos to Degnan. Feed, shot to score. This time, it is Angelos 
to Melendez. But the, the last feed to Degnan, he just got this one to Melendez, but you watch, Ohio State's not, not getting to him. And Matt Collison in the midfield. Jimmy Ayers on attack. Can this midfield get anything going for the Blue Jays? Degnan pastes the upper 90. Snappy release. Doesn't look like he's shooting it hard, and then it's on goalies so fast. And his accuracy, man. When, when I look at this replay, Greg, and as in real time, the word that comes to my mouth is smooth. Thought Bauer was going to let that one rip. Yeah, he's quick. Collison beats the check and scores. Big Matt Collison. Texas stick gets to a good spot. You see this little pick here, and then works to the middle. And then how about that twister? Yeah. You see him use his stick, come across, not switch hands, but use his body and snap it back. Trust your systems. Trust your personnel. Win your matchup. It's a simple game. Win your matchup. Take care of the ball. Island gets inside. Nice save by Erlin. Tough defense. Scott Smith lowered the boot. And Russell Melendez running in the midfield for Johns Hopkins. Grimes shot, save, fire. Read it the whole way. Kill rain. Nice feed underneath. Hopkins. Angeles just ran into traffic. Did not have an exit strategy and loses it. Transition lacrosse. Nice little slap check from McDermott. Good ground ball pickup. Dylan Bauer, end to end lacrosse. And then you turn it over right back. So for Ohio State, you got to buckle down and fight through this adversity. And if you're Hopkins, you got to be liking your chances right now. Dagnon, hitch move. Over. Shot to score. The first turnover here from Ohio State. The turnover, Angeles. Great play from Langermeyer. But you're going to see the hustle right here. The rusty wow, gate. Wow, the rusty gate. The rusty gate. gate. Yes. Making an appearance at Ohio State Lacrosse Stadium. What a play. And that results in the goal from Melendez. Step down and finally able to beat Fayok with an outside shot. Patient. And they're going to wear you down. They're going to pass the ball well. They're going to cut. And they're going to wait for you to make a mistake. Collison. Good defense by Camille. Five seconds to shoot. Peshko gets it off and scores! Get the shot clock down to one, and Peshko just the individual effort, the strength. You're going to see Camille with some great defense here. Rocking back and forth. See that shot clock in the background? One second. You, know, you need a quality look right now. Without this question. Game, yeah, with this game on the line. The margin for error is shrinking. And, and this is where Nick Meyer's words, you know, we gotta, we don't have that guy. Someone needs to be the guy on right. this possession. That's going to be interference. Patrick Dean, play. shot is oh! goal. No goal. What? Let's see what we got. There's the interference, and there it is. The, the, the Ohio State player goes in the crease. Okay. Number 31 in gray. But you could argue that he gets helped into the crease by Patrick Deans. Watch. Interference and then a little nudge. But being if in the, the players, crease. If the player is pushed in. That could have been a second flag. Oh. Still would have stopped play. It would have, yeah. But you would have had two flags down. Shot, it doesn't matter. Mar Marinier says, give me the ball. I will deliver. Hopkins. Is choosing not to get the Marinier, who's hands down the best shooter on this Buckeye offensive unit. That was a rocket. Good defense by Ohio State. There's a double. The feed. Melendez couldn't handle it. Fiox picks it up. Less than 10 seconds. Ball still loose. Hopkins, Ohio State, fighting for it. Comes out to the Buckeyes. Ohio State chucks it down the field. And we are going to overtime. To come out of the goal and just keep it loose, eat some extra time, and then we got the scrum. How about Colin Brown making sure that that ball is not picked up 
they solidify the number four seed going into their battle with Michigan. The top two teams are going to get a bye in the Big yeah, Ten tournament. It's huge. The next two get to host at home. Exactly. So which it's is also gigantic. huge. Yeah. Callahan wins the clamp and plays it out, but Ohio State comes out with it. And Coach Myers, I think you like that take. Top side, hands free. Got a step, and Hopkins wasn't sliding. They have a ton of faith in Brett Martin. They're all Big Ten short stick. D Mini for that reason. Slap check. Ball's on the turf. Martin picks it up, flings oh. it downfield blindly, and he took a shot. Throw it in, and if you don't get it, you don't get it. Matthews head of steam. Loses it. Hopkins has possession. Good defense by the Blue Jays. Avilas with the run out. What will Hopkins do? Will they play through? Collison, he won the game against Penn State a week ago. Can he do the same tonight? He shoots it, does! Matt Collison ends things in Ohio State. Johns Hopkins stays perfect in the Big Ten. And Collison comes off this pick and he just continues to work downhill. And that is the weight room paying off, the offseason paying off. Great defense from Ohio State, just a big boy play.